What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I want to give a Kawaii Gang notification gang shout out to Gia Green, Tiffany Han, My Life on the Hill, and Nuha. Thank you ladies so much for being the first four to comment on my last video. Thank you so much to everyone who tries to make it to these videos. I really appreciate you guys being here today and hanging out with me. So I'm trying out the Model Ones Rainbow Poly Gel Kit. This is my first time trying it. I was super excited to see that they had a chrome included. This has like a blue effect and then they have these holographic butterflies. I thought that was really nice. Of course you get the slip solution, top and base coat, a poly gel brush, and there's actually two different kinds of dual forms. Um, one of them is more curved, like an empress curve, and one is a little bit less curved. And they also gave you an eyeshadow applicator for the chrome. So this is what the brush looks like. I'm going to do like super quick swatches of each color. I ended up not going for the red today, so definitely stay tuned. I'm going to talk to you guys in more detail live about how I made this set. You will not believe how quick and easy this set was to create. Okay y'all, so I'm really excited for this video because I'm trying some new methods in this video and if you guys are beginners with poly gel, even if you're not a beginner, you're going to absolutely love this method, okay, because it's so fast you guys. So for my set, I already did this hand but I have a glove on so I don't mess them up while I do this hand. Um, okay, I don't want to use the red because it just doesn't go with the other colors for what I'm trying to do but i'm gonna do kind of like a um dual form method but i'm not going to use the dual forms from this kit i'm just going to use the nails that i usually use all the time this is the xxl coffin you can do this method with whatever full cover nail you like that you use or whatever there's so many on the market to choose from you can use the a press i mean a prey nails you can use mccart nails um, whatever you want to do so um, basically, just like a dual form method, I'm just going to squirt the poly gel in the nail, smooth it out, and then cure it onto my nail. So I have Ma uh, Madame Glam XOXO gel polish on my nails right now. And this is how I'm able to remove my nails um, really quickly after the set is done. Um, when I put this gel polish on my nails, I don't prep or do anything at all. Like, usually you're supposed to uh, dehydrate the nail, put on a primer, put on your base coat, and then put on the color, and then top coat. I don't do any of that. And because I don't put it on properly, it lifts off super easy. So when I'm done with the set, I literally just have to pull the nail, and it all comes off, including the gel. So that's how I'm able to do like that peel off or... Uh, just quickly remove the nails so because I have this on I can't show you how to prepare your nails but I will have a video in the cards the little eye in the upper right hand corner of the screen that video is going to show you step by step in detail how to prepare your natural nails for any extension whether that be acrylic poly gel or prey dupe nails okay so yeah let's just get started oh another thing I'm doing is I'm going to use base coat gel to uh, smooth out this poly gel instead of using slip solution so many of you guys have been telling me to try this for a while now and I, I'll, I'll be honest I just forgot to do it I had intentions of doing it and I would always forget to do it but finally I realized that this poly gel just honestly works better with base coat gel it's not really best it's not really working the best with the slip solution that comes with the kit so, and it's been working amazingly. I have to thank you guys so much for that tip. That tip was so great for me. It worked out super well. So this is my thumbnail. Um, by the way, one thing that I recommend you do, um, whatever size is your usual size, go um, up, go up a size. So my thumb, I usually wear a like one or two, actually more like a two pretty much every time with he thinks I'm talking to him. Okay. What? What's up? What's up? He wants to play with his toy. <laughs> so, just go up a size. 
So another thing I forgot to say about this method is that you're going to need to cure maybe double the recommended time. I feel like just doing it this way instead of the usual way of application there is a chance that the middle of the nail won't get a cure unfortunately so just try to be really careful with that so this method is kind of imperfect um, i did notice a couple of mistakes or like just imperfections you're going to want to make sure that you bring the poly gel all the way to the edge of the false nail i'm using the xxl coffin nails by the way today of course use whatever nails you want there are so many nails out here that you could try and there's so many like inexpensive ones on um, Amazon or whatever. So you're also going to need to um, e-file these to perfect the cuticle area. It's just the way that these go on because you're not able to remove the actual nail like a traditional dual form, you're able to pop off the dual form and you're left with only the poly gel. With this method, the nail does not pop off easily, so I decided to just leave it. If anything, it's gonna add extra strength to the structure of the nail, which these do feel extremely firm and strong. But yeah, because the nail is there and you have poly gel, it kinda makes the cuticle area a little bit imperfect. You're gonna have to file it with an e-file or hand file if you're really good with the hand file. You guys will see my filing later on in the video. Um, as you could see on one of the nails, I did an inlay of glitter and then I put the blue chrome on there and I thought that was a really nice effect. I love that you're able to do that with this type of method. You're able to encapsulate on the inside like this. You could put flowers, anything that you could think of you can do with this. I think you could still definitely do an ombre this way if you're very careful and you just blend down the colors um, from the top, you know. So. Other than that, there's not much else I have to say about this method. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of my application. And yeah, doing it this way was so fast, y'all. I think I did my entire set within an hour and I wasn't even rushing. I was taking my sweet time. And there's a like very intricate bling placement on here. So that says a lot. I think just for the application of the nails by itself, no filing included, no bling included, it might have been like 30 minutes for both hands. It's insane how fast this is. And the result is really nice. The shape looks really good. And if you're not good with filing, like filing over the top of the nail. I noticed that some of you guys let me know that you have issues with that. This is gonna be a godsend for you. So I hope you guys are able to try this method out. If you have tried this before, let me know.
know what you're thinking. I bet you never tell them how it feels. I bet you never even try to be real. So I'm just doing my usual filing routine. I'm gonna have the drill bit I used linked down below. The dust collector and the e-file will all be linked down below. I forgot to mention that this pink color is actually a thermal, so it goes from pink to white. I've seen colors like that pretty much in, you know, at least one poly gel kit from every poly gel brand. It's a very common thermal color, that pink to white. Um, other than that, I think it's really nice. I think the product worked really well and I have no complaints so yeah I'm just kind of like cleaning up the shape but it really didn't need much and then I'll use the hand file to finish perfecting it and then I'll wash my hands So for this glitter nail, I'm doing a regular shiny top coat and the rest of the nails will have a matte top coat. I used the matte from Eno Couture, the velvet matte. And I'm just gonna be applying these stones using the corresponding top coats. So I'm using the shiny top coat to apply the stones on the shiny nail and the matte top coat to apply the stones on the matte nails. And these stones, like the neon ones, I actually got from the SXC Cosmetics Poly Gel Kit as well as the AB stones too. And they all come in mixed sizes. However, you could find those stones pretty much anywhere. I know Nail Heaven Supply Store just posted up a uh, picture on Instagram showing that they are gonna start selling these neon stones, so check them out. But I'm pretty sure they're easy to find, probably really inexpensive on AliExpress if you're willing to wait for them. So yeah, like I said, this is a very detailed bling placement. I'm not gonna bore you guys too much with <laughs> my explanations. I did throw in some pearls and some um, star stones, and it gave me a really like mermaid feeling.
So I have some more YouTuber shout outs. I'm gonna be doing these shout outs until Quar is over with just to show support and give back to my community. And I want to give a shout out to Isis Naya or Isis Nia. She has some amazing makeup videos as well as some nail content. Nailed by Faith also has a ton of nail content. She does like reviews and things. And then we also have Carla H. Elegance Nails. She also does some nail content. I love doing these shout outs because I'm learning so much about y'all first of all. And I'm like noticing like, wow, all of y'all are so talented. Like a lot of y'all are extremely talented and good at what you do. I'm just so impressed. And I feel so blessed and honored that y'all are like viewers of mine. I don't know. And it's just cool. It's really, it's really cool to see like what y'all are up to, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, if y'all are finding YouTube kind of boring or dry lately, I hope that these suggestions will help you find some content that's interesting or fun to watch. I've been doing these shout outs maybe for like the last four videos or five videos or something like that. So yeah, if you are a small YouTuber and you also want a shout out, I think the video that I'm accepting the links on is, let me see. Let me just see what video that was. I think it was the video where I did the Savvy Land poly gel. I think so. Let me just make sure, y'all. <laughs> Let me make sure. Yeah, that is the one. So I will, I'm not able to link it in the cards because I think, actually, yeah, I probably can link that video in the cards. So yeah, if you're also a small YouTuber or if you're just a YouTuber in general, you don't have to be a small YouTuber because trust me, I know even though you have, that's the thing about YouTube, you could have like a bunch of subs, but it really doesn't mean much because like it really depends on your niche like what type of content you're uploading how frequent you upload the view count the ads that they decide to put on the video the rate of the ads it doesn't really mean you're doing well just because you have a lot of subs so even if you're a big youtuber and you just want to shout out let me know Right, guys so this is the final result i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope everyone's staying well i love you guys all so much please have an amazing day or night and i'll see you guys in my next one love you so much bye Really your car? Hmm? It's my car, babe. What you talking about?